Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Di and we're going to be making some swing tabs. What are swing tabs you wonder? What are they? Let me show you. Here's some I prepared earlier. <laughs> um, I'm working on some tall skinny journals and I put the pages together in these a bit like a waterfall situation. So there are various uh, widths, various narrowness if you like and occasionally I'll have a I'll have one that's nice and short in the middle so to take advantage of that I thought why don't I just I had a plethora of tags which I bought ta-da at the news agents and that's just that's just a small amount of them They've got whole reinforcers and I thought they're so good. I've been doodling on them and doing all kinds of projects. So I thought, what if I put them back to back? Like so. And put them, hinge them, hinge them onto this tiny little piece of paper, which I reinforced. So one either side and then I stitched them just on two sides so that then they make a nice little pocket. And I can fit three down the center. And I thought, I really like that idea. So these ones I've just left naked. And I stamped using Tim Holtz stamps. And then I did a gold uh, embossed crown stamp over the top of those, which look amazing in that journal. So that's what I did. Now I'm working on a new journal using some grungy florals from Kate's Crafts and I am wanting some different kind of tags. So I got out my, I only own, I only own about three distressed, distress, distress I'll start again. I'm so excited I can hardly talk. <laughs> I only own about three different colours in Tim Holtz spray stains, distress, distress spray stains. And I needed six tags to match in. I didn't want to leave these ones naked. So I had played around with them last night. I just inked up the middle so I have these and then I thought I could do the same situation or maybe I can just get this flourish stamp and emboss some gold over the top of that in a flourish which I think would lift the grunge so that's the plan that's the plan so I have six of those prepared all nice and dry and I'm going to uh, emboss this. I can't get it off the plastic, this whole stamp. I don't know how old it is, but I tried to peel it off of the plastic backing. It does not want to, and it will break because it's so fine. So I'm just going to go in with my embossing ink pad. And we're going to lay that down nicely. Press hard. Hopefully get a good imprint. Mm, there's something there. Cross fingers. Now, where's my tray? I love gold. Oh, I love it. I, although these things look lovely in the silver too. I've got silver and gold are my favourite. Okay, so let's load it up. I'm not sure where that ink is. I can't really see it. Oh, nice. <gasps> that looks amazing. Okay. Now let's um, heat emboss it and see what happens. on 
might be helpful. Right, here we go. Never gets it never gets old watching. It's like alchemy. Right. So there we have it. One gorgeous tag, which I think will really go very well with Kate's papers I think that'll be a perfect match so I'll come back when I've done all six and then we'll put them in right all six have been done and they look amazing and this is the beautiful page from um, big grungy florals from Kate at Kate Kate's crafts on Etsy and I'm on her design team and these were the first thing that took my eye and tell you what she's so prolific you've got to go check her out and she's kind too the amount of freebies that she gives away on uh, the Facebook group it's unbelievable it's you you've got to go and check her out if you haven't already I'll put the links in the description box underneath this video and there'll be a flip flip through coming soon of the whole grungy floral journal I'm doing but I just thought these swing tags were a great, a great thing to do. So what we do is we take two and we're going to put one on this side of the short page in the center. And we're going to line them up and then we're going to make sure that, that they absolutely marry together like that then the next one will be here and one in behind as well so in, in actual fact this will be at least three pockets but it could very well be six you could probably put two little things either either one this side and one the other side actually i love the colorway with the background So one either side, one that side, one this side, oops, I'm just placing one that side and then one this side on top. And then I'm going to mark this very, very carefully and then I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch down here and stitch to this corner here so and then we'll come back and glue them in but I want them quite precise so I think you can see there because had I had I stitched there 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 then that would only give room for a really tiny skinny little tag which would be fine but this way um, you just get a little bit more height I think and a nice little squatter journal card that can that can slip in anyway that's how I'm doing it so I'm really liking that idea and by having and by having a good gap in between each one means that the journal card that I put into won't be it won't be butting up against the one above it if you know what I mean right there we 
Okay. So what I might do what I might do is mark this very very gently. Actually, a bit of chalk would be handy, wouldn't it? I'm sure I've got a piece of chalk in here. Don't you love him? Isn't he gorgeous, my little blue bunny? Hopefully I've left a little bit of chalk in here. Yes. Oh, blue chalk. Huh. Okay. Blue chalk for a blue bunny. So if I mark that, probably there, then I'll know exactly where to sew. Make sure I've got a little bit of lee leeway there. And the same. Here. So I'm going to start there. And I'm just going to stitch up there. Or I'll start, oh pardon me, I'll start at the top. Actually that's probably a good idea to mark the top too. Right, making sure I've got exact, don't want any errors at this stage. So I'll come down there and I'll go there and I'll be back in a moment. Right, and here I am back from the sewing machine. So let's just slide them on I mean I know they're not very deep pockets but they're cute and the chalk worked really a treat because I was able to just um rub away the telltale marks very easily okay so all I have to do now is put glue on them probably should have done that first never mind I'll just use our, our glitter glue because it's really super strong helpful die to do both at once wouldn't it never mind that is just so so pretty and then this one this time I shall do both sides together it might be a lot easier Texture feels amazing. And even though even though I only had white cotton in the uh, sewing machine, doesn't matter. You could always uh, color it in with any kind of ink that you wanted if you didn't like it. But it doesn't. It certainly doesn't stand out. I don't think. And then all I have to do is make some nice little, I think we might do some nice little quote cards to pop in them. Mm. 
Right, and so there you have some swinging tabs and let's pop that all back together and I'll probably put some probably put some nice um sari ribbon in the in the or some old lace in the sides but there you have some swinging tabs hope you enjoyed that another great idea for your gels i'll see you in the next one bye hit that like and subscribe button please see you soon bye